Good morning, boys. Welcome back to another video. Today we have something pretty interesting going on. My car broke again. Haha. <laughs> so my car is yet again 30 minutes away, parked in a parking lot. Car wouldn't start yesterday. We we're on a huge time crunch because I had somewhere to be, and I ended up having to leave the car in a parking lot. So my friend Garvey is coming to pick me up right now. I think it's the fuel pump, and I'm kind of hoping it is. But if it's not the fuel pump, then sheesh, boys. <laughs> I also want to apologize for not putting a video up. I just had a really busy day, and I didn't really have any content. I didn't really end up doing anything car related. So, and I didn't really end up doing anything. Thing interesting in general yesterday, so I just didn't want to pump out some garbage video and today However, we do have interesting content, so we're gonna take full advantage of that I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please leave a like feel like subscribing Please do it really help me out subscribe for Taz. He's the best boy. He's the best boy Subscribe for Taz the more subscribers we get the more dog treats Taz gets you want your bone? I'll give you your bone Yeah Get it Usually it takes him a little while to get into the bone. I'll let him just do his thing. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to walking. Quite literally, because I don't have a car. Speed. All right, so I'm trying to try to crank it again. Show the boys what we're dealing with. Watch it start. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I can try to like pulse the throttle. Nothing. When I do this, I'm listening for like the fuel pump priming and it, I don't really hear anything So I'm assuming it's the fuel pump. That's bad But I'm gonna just test for spark first because I don't want to jump the gun and replace the fuel pump if I don't have to All right, Garby, do you want to try to crank the car for me? All right, stop. One sec. I'm gonna try a different screwdriver because I just want to make sure that this is Making good contact. All right, try one more time All right, stop yeah, absolutely zero spark. Ah, oh, dude, okay. Well, I guess it's not the fuel pump. <laughs> it is definitely spark related. Something with the distributor. So we're gonna go ahead and take that baby off. That's it, that's all there is to it on this car. It's so nice. All right, go for it. Yeah, nothing. Okay, and there she goes. We're gonna go to the auto parts store and pick up a new ignition coil, throw that in, hopefully that fixes our problem. All right boys, so this is my friend Garvey and this is his, what year is this? 97. 1997 uh, Chevy 1500, right? Yeah. And uh, he just got this thing pretty cheap, it's just like his like drive around truck. And I was looking for cup holders and I go down here and check this out. He doesn't even smoke, these aren't his cigs. <laughs> All right. That coil's in. I gotta put the rotor back on. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little bit more diagnosing really quick. Yeah. All right, boys, it has been quite a while since we updated you last. We found out the fuel pump was not priming, so we found a bunch of random stuff. I'll explain in a minute, but I'm just gonna try to start this. Let's see. I still didn't hear it prime. Yeah, I still didn't hear it prime. Sheesh. I just, now I wanna see if the fuse I just put in blew. Because if it did, then there's another short somewhere. All right, boys, so today is day two. We are on our way back to the place where the car is parked because yesterday we could not get the car running. We tried a lot of different things, which I'm about to tell you about, and we still couldn't get it running. So some things that we tried are replacing the ignition coil. That did not do it. I returned the ignition coil that I purchased yesterday. Replacing the ignition coil control module, which I literally just replaced in like a couple of videos ago, but I figured, hey, maybe it went bad because I'm not getting any spark. Luckily, I had a warranty on it, so that one was free. We pulled the fuel pump, and we replaced it with the Walbro one. Again, when I pulled the fuel pump, I noticed that the positive wire for the fuel pump was crushed, and the wire was exposed. I have a feeling that that wire shorted out and blew a fuse. So I looked under the dash fuse panel. I found a blown fuse that is in 
charge of the ignition and fuel pump and I put a good fuse in there and I still couldn't get this car to start for some reason. I'm gonna try a couple different things before we tow the car home but ultimately we're probably gonna end up towing the car home so I've narrowed it down to either a main relay or or I just need to unplug the battery and put the new battery in or not the new battery just unplug the battery plug it back in and try to reset the ECU because the ECU might be in some kind of safe mode right now or something like that I don't really know. If that doesn't work then we'll probably just tow the car home most likely. Well, <laughs> Chief's towing service. Call me if you uh, need a car towed. Yeah, boys. So uh, couldn't get it running. Main relay was not the issue. Fuses all look good. I don't really know what's going on, but we're we're gonna strap her up to the trailer now. Get her home and figure this issue out at a later time because we have a lot of Christmas stuff going on. So.